what is up guys, Kabitch42 here, and welcome back to another episode of Cobblemon. Now, based off of last time, you guys really, really wanted me to play more, and I cannot thank you guys so much for the support on that video. My goodness gracious, the support was, like, literally overwhelming. It was kind of crazy. Um, but yes, I will be continuing Cobblemon, as you can see. So expect more Cobblemon here on the channel. You guys wanted it and I will provide it. Now, last time we left off, I'm still kind of learning this mod. I actually did stream this uh, a few days ago uh, with my roommate and uh, fellow VTuber, Naya. Uh, we did stream it for a little bit, so I did kind of learn a little bit more about the mod, and thanks to your guys' comments on the last video, there was a lot of information that was given to me, so I appreciate it a lot. Like, for example, Breaking the apricorns is a bad idea. You should right-click them because that, that harvests them, apparently. I, I didn't know that. Uh, but regardless, uh, I do appreciate you guys' support. It was very overwhelming for me. I haven't had support like that in a long, long time uh, on a video uh, that isn't RP. So, you know, that was honestly really, really nice. And I hope that you guys will continue to enjoy what I'm doing. But uh, I think today's plan is to not only get out of this cave and possibly build a small house, uh, but to also level up our team. As you can see, we're all pretty low. We've got 12, 12, 10, 14, 15. So I think today the plan might be to get Rowlet to evolve and just kind of get the rest of the team leveled up too. I don't think anyone else will evolve today if we level up anyone else uh, to like maybe like 16 to 20, maybe. Maybe Rattata. I think Rattata might up, uh, upgrade evolve at 20 but i think everybody else doesn't evolve for a while or maybe joltik needs a stone i'm not too sure uh this is a very weird and thrown together team from last episode but uh, i'm curious to see what i can do with it and hopefully we can capture some more pokemon today uh on top of just setting up the team and capturing some more pokemon my prayer is that i can find my boy the ever luxurious snorlax or munchlax either or apparently they both spawn in forests in hills or maybe it's just Munchlax to spawn in forests, and I think Snorlax to spawn in forests and hills. I'm not too sure, uh, but I did try to look it up and see if I could find my boy. Now, I think the first thing we need to do is obviously figure out where we're going to live. Hello, CDOT. How are you doing? Uh, we're going to figure out where to live, and then from that point on, I think that's where we're going to figure out where to go and uh, build a home at. Now, I could be smart and actually build my home in a forest, which wouldn't be a bad idea, uh, considering I'm trying to find my boy. Oh, oh yeah, that's the Pidgey I killed. <laughs> we could honestly build in this location, uh, chop down a few trees and build something around here. It's not too bad of an idea. Um, it is a forest, which is what we need for the hopes of a snow. Like, oh, there's a pot tree soup. So, you know, one can just hope that we find the things we need uh, right next to this fully destroyed nether portal. Which also I learned Pokemon do spawn in the nether. So that's another place we're going to have to go to at some point and explore and see what spawns there. But I think what I'm going to do right now is I think I'm going to chop down a decent amount of trees. And uh, I think we're going to figure out what to, what to do here. Maybe build something around here. So uh, let's do that now, shall we? And now, with somewhere to, you know, live, <laughs> I think we're in a, in a good way to uh, start battling some Pokemon around here. Yes, I know it's not the fanciest of houses, but it's a house nonetheless. I'm not a builder, so don't yell it to me. I'm, I'm not the best at it. Also, this is going to bug me. I need to break this tree right now. I just noticed it. It's going to bug me because 
with the decay mod that I have, it's a little iffy. It's a little bit iffy when it comes to certain things. And specifically when there's trees together, for some reason, it doesn't break the leaves. So I have to break all the trees that are connected via leaves, and then it disappears. Like so. That's so much better for my eyes. Gosh, that was horrendous to look at. But yeah, I think actually before we do that, let me actually... Yes, and I did sort things because I'm a smart boy. Let me put these down because we need these to make more Pokeballs. Now, I am hoping to get one of every seed at some point, but for right now, the game was like, nope. So I'm going to have to deal with what I've got, which is white and yellow. Now, that is enough for Premier Balls, but obviously we do want to upgrade. Oh, God, it's it's here, too. Uh, it hurts. It hurts so much. Uh, but we can't really upgrade just yet because we do need seeds for every other color. So I think it's time to do some battling. Now, I would... Oh, look at this. There's yellow. There's an apricorn tree right here. Yes, I'm going to try to not say apricot this time around. I do promise. I'm trying my hardest not to say that. Okay, well, this is good, actually, because now we can make a few more Pokeballs. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Just in case we run into the boy. Hopefully. Praying. Praying we run into the boy today. I really am. I just want him on my team. The earlier, the better uh, for me personally. If I can get him sooner rather than later, I would be overjoyed with having Snorlax on my team. As you may or may not know, Snorlax is my favorite Pokemon. So I am hoping. I believe Sneasel is in here as well, which is another one of my favorite Pokemon. So I really hope Sneasel's in here because then I can get Weavile. Also, Miss Magius is another one that I really, really like. That turns into Miss Drivius. Or, or no, that's opposite. So swap swap that swap that around. That's the wrong way. <laughs> Other way around. But okay. Ugh, it's so ugly. Alright, let's start battling some Pokemon. Now, I don't think I have a flying move yet, which also, I learned what button it is to check on my Pokemon. So that's awesome. I can see their natures, their abilities. I will state this right now. I am not a professional Pokemon player. If I make dumb mistakes, it's because I'm dumb and I don't play this very often. So don't get salty at me, okay? <laughs> I'm letting you know now that I'm bad at this. Right? Now you have to promise that you're not going to get angry at me. Because if I am doo-doo at Pokemon, then you need to make sure that I am, in fact... Oh my god, there's another one. That you need to know for a fact that I am doo doo at it, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold back when I say I'm trash. Okay, well this is good. Get more premier balls. I really hope we get another uh, another scene. Does not look like we're gonna get one. Didn't even know this was here. I'm gonna be real. Oy. Okay, cool. That's enough for a few more sets of pokeballs. Cool. All right. Well, I guess since we have Rowlet and we do have a flying move i think our first objective is to take down some bug pokemon now i did see some weedles some some megapods running around here so you are going to be my victim come come here please come here thank you you are going to become my victim weedle now i did also find out that some of these pokemon have uh, death animations which is a little upsetting okay okay well it looks like Rowlet isn't uh winning that fight Fine. That's that that's fine. Zubat Zubat's got this. Even though it's gonna take like two turns. It's fine, I believe. There we are. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> Some of these faint animations are so sad. It makes me feel bad for defeating them. Hmm. Well it looks like Rowlet's gonna be a bit of a iffy boy today. Oh, it's a butterfree. Oh, there's a caterpie, a Zubat, there's another Weedle. Okay, we might have to fight some lower-leveled ones first. I was hoping that if we could just fight a higher-leveled one, maybe we'd be okay. But uh, it doesn't seem like it. See, there's a Caterpie. That's level 17. We can't fight that because we are scrub territory. Also, another thing you guys taught me, which I think is really cool, is certain Pokemon have abilities when you shift or right-click them. You can put them on your shoulder, and they give you stuff, apparently. I think I get haste. Yeah, I get haste. Which is going to be fantastic for when I'm mining. So thank you for telling me that. Uh, a lot of people pointed it out. So I can't direct it at one person. But man, you guys have been so freaking helpful in the comments. With uh, giving me information on things for this uh, for this mod. It has been fantastic. Okay. We're going to try and defeat a Caterpie here. I don't know how it's going to go. Depending on if Caterpie actually has moves. Which Caterpie does not. Perfect. 
Cat, if you had one, oh no. <laughs> it makes me so sad. I feel so bad for defeating them. It's such a sad day. Oh, there's a level five. This should be a one shot. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, if I can get Rallet to evolve today, that would be fantastic. If I can't find the boy, I can at least attempt to uh, to get Rallet to level up. Now, the other problem is, is that if we do find a Munchlax, we are going to have to level him up with Friendship, which is definitely going to take a while. Uh, friendship is not one of the easiest things to level up. Unless I had, a, like, a Friend Ball, or uh, is it a Luxury Ball, I believe? I believe a Luxury Ball makes it so... Um, you can level, like, you start with, like, a pretty good amount of friendship with them already. I don't think CDOT has a animation. Okay, no, you do not. Okay, come on, Rowlet, you can do this. You're only a few levels away. Believe me, you've got this. Pineco, easy. Has nothing on you. Okay, he might have something on you. He might, no, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to try and capture. Uh, <laughs> never mind. Uh, never mind. The, uh, the Pineco has something on you. Okay, we're gonna get Ratata. Come on out. Oh, okay. You're just gonna use self-destruct and kill yourself. Okay. Thanks for uh, killing Maradita. No! Wake up! <laughs> Wake up from the coma. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we made that healer. Uh, also, I believe if we click M when we go into Rallet and we go to Moves, we can actually change stuff by clicking here. Yes, we can. Okay. So we can set up Razor Leaf, which I would love to set up as like the second move. Uh, astonished to use your target, target may flinch. Okay, let's change out leaf it. No, actually, let's change out that for shadow sneak because with that, that will be so much better. Because this also guarantees first, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Oh, hi. Uh, can I fight you and maybe you won't kill my Pokemon? Because you know, I really would like to level up Rowlet, and if you knock him out, I'm gonna be a little upset. Okay, good. Thank you. <laughs> and I believe with this, too, is uh, once we hit the level, it won't automatically level us up. We have to do it ourselves. So I am gonna... Oh, look! One of my trees grew. Hey, hey, hey! Don't eat the grass! What are you doing? Get out of here. Stop. Leave. Exit my domain. Oh, there's another Joltik. Yeah, I'm hoping that maybe by staying in, uh, in this biome... How is this doing? Okay, cool. I didn't have to, uh, because that sucker takes a while to recharge, so I wasn't sure if it was going to have me, uh, eligible to, to, uh, use it again. Now, I am hoping, that's oh, level two, I can fight that. I am hoping that by staying in a forest that we will have a better chance at finding a, uh, Snorlax. Oh, is it not 16? Is it 17? Or is it 18? I know some of the starters in the newer generations... Uh, their stuff changed for, like, their levels. There's a Butterfree. Let's level 11. Okay. I think we can, uh, can take you down, I believe. Might get a bit more experience because it's a fully evolved Pokemon. Oh, yeah, baby. There it is. Okay. Now, I don't know how the evolution animation looks, so I'm hoping it looks good. Come here, Rowlet. We need you to evolve. I also hope that when I evolve you, there's some, something happens. Okay. Okay. I do hope they add an evolution uh, animation soon. Because that was just like a boop. <laughs> it doesn't take that long. But look, we have Dartrix. I believe it's how you pronounce it. Dar Dar Dartrix. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Man, every Pokemon fan is screaming right now with me playing this. I swear. What is that? Oh, it's a Geodude. But all right, we did complete our mission, which was leveling you up enough to get you to evolve. I would also like to get a sixth Pokemon to my team today. That would be that would be pretty nice. I've never used a Geodude in my life, but for some reason him roly-polying around is really making me question if I want to get him or not. But I do need a water or a fire uh, Pokemon, so maybe I should look around here. Is there a desert nearby? I haven't been to a desert yet. Oh, there's a Psyduck over there. Look at him waddling. I haven't been to a desert yet. So maybe I try and find a desert. I also don't know how legendaries work in this too. I'm pretty sure there are legendaries in this mod. Like I said, every time we play this, you guys are going to be giving me loads of information, which I greatly appreciate. So please feel free to spam me with information. Um, 
Right? Your little buddy. Oh, I can't put you on my shoulder. I really wish I could have. That would have been cool. All right, I'm asleep. Sleep. Okay. Now let's have you out the ball. You know what? You can follow me around. Come on. Out of the house. Come here. Come on, buddy. There you go. Uh, yeah, please. If you know where, like, certain Pokemon are that you think I would, uh, want to get. Like, obviously, one of my main goals is getting Mudslack, Sneasel, is another one, which I assume spawns in, like, the Ice Plains or something along those lines. I don't even know if there's, uh, if there's custom biomes for this mod. I have no idea. So, please feel free to just spam me with that info. Just don't make it too obnoxious, all right? I don't want to see 25 comments by one person about information. But if you have information, please let me know. Um, any Anything and everything will help and will definitely better the series for you guys. Uh, if I know a bit more. Unless you want me to be brain dead the entire time and not know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's also fine, too. But yeah, let me check around and see if I can find a desert. Or just something... Something that I might want on my team, and then uh, we'll be back. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized. Oh my god, that's so cute. I didn't realize Joltik was still on my shoulder while I was in the boat. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love that. That's so great. God, why is this bot so adorable? <laughs> oh. Well. Um. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't mean to find this, but, I mean, hey, I'll, uh, I'll mark it. I need this, actually. Funny enough. So I need this to make an XP share. Maybe I should grab that now while I'm here. Uh, yeah, you know what? I, I think that's a smart idea. I'm gonna, well, first off, I'm gonna mark it down. This was the last thing I was looking for, but I am glad I found one. Uh, oh, God, what are they called? Ocean Monuments? Ocean Monuments. Yeah, okay. Well, was not looking for this, but I am okay with this. I am more than fine. Okay, so I think I need to break the lanterns. Right? I'm gonna drown. That would be embarrassing. There we go. Oh, get back up. Just because you're playing on peaceful doesn't mean you're gonna not die. <laughs> Okay. Now, where did those... How many of these do I need? Because I know you need them to make an XP share. I just don't know how many... Oh, just one. Oh, perfect. Okay, so then... I mean, I'll keep this marked, so if I need to come back here, I'll come back here. Uh, but man, that is... That is perfect. Don't mind me, just looking around. I don't know if, like, any rare, rare Pokemon spawn in the oceans or not. So, I'm just keeping an eye out, just in case. Still looking for a desert. <laughs> Been boating for 15 minutes. Where the hell is a desert? <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> All right, so you know what? I need to call myself out on something here real quick. I have to uh, have to reveal some truth. Uh, I'm a stupid content creator. So, <laughs> you know how this like entire last couple of minutes I've been looking for a desert, right? Well, it's been about 24 hours since that recording. And I'm back now because I couldn't find a desert and I was really getting aggravated. So I kind of just like bled out and I was like, all right, I'll look for it tomorrow. It's been 24 hours since th what you just watched has happened. I forgot that I added in Nature's Compass, which shockingly allows me to search for biomes. You'll never guess what I found. <laughs> A desert by using it. I'm so aggravated. Also, this desert was incredibly far away from my house. So I probably never would have found it. Um, I found three ocean monuments on my travels. I think you guys saw one if I kept it in. Um, but yeah, so I'm stupid. It's been 24 hours. My brain has refreshed a bit. Uh, oh, that Ekans just died. Oh, boy. Is that a ditto? Can we breed in this? 
Okay, not gonna lie, was not expecting to see a ditto. But, uh, yeah, uh, if I can breed in this, I have no clue if you can. I'm gonna be real, real serious, no idea. Uh, I'm gonna grab you. And just in case they update the game, um, to where breeding is allowed, I'll already have a ditto. <laughs> Oh, wow, it did, like, nothing compared to what it just did, like, a few moments ago. Wow, this is doing doo-doo. Uh, I don't want to end you, if I'm going to be real honest with you, uh, li little ditto here. I will try and c catch you with the premiere ball. Um, wow, okay. That was not the Pokemon I was looking for. Th there we go! <laughs> um... Wow, I was not expecting a ditto of all Pokemon to show up. That was interesting. I was gonna jokingly say, like, um, you know, like, where we are and stuff. I was gonna be like, oh, you know, we can check the water and see if there's any, like, cool water Pokemon. Or, you know, maybe there's something else around here. I don't know what's around here. I figured going to a desert would be a really good option to not only find ground Pokemon, but to mainly find fire types. So that was kind of my thought process. And, uh, wow, that, okay, a ditto. Was not expecting a ditto. <laughs> I'll be real with y'all. Not expecting a ditto in the desert. That was the last place I would have expected one to spawn. I mean, technically it's a beach as well, that beginning part. So, I don't, do they spawn on beaches? Do they spawn in deserts? I, I don't know. I really don't. But, I mean, whatever. I'm not gonna complain. And if there is breeding, or if breeding is added in the future, I have a ditto for it now, which is fantastic. Um, so, that was weird. I was just not expecting that Pokemon. <laughs> I, I wanted to see... <gasps> oh, my! one of my favorites is in here. Cubone. I might grab you. I really like Cubone. I don't know if Alolan Marowak is in here, but uh, if it is, that could be, that could be something. Or just normal Marowak is fine as well. Either or is is fine with me. Ah, oh, I kind of want you. Oh, you look so cute. I like your little... It kind of looks like a porch... Uh, uh, a porch fic? I can't s speak. Um, a pitchfork. Funny enough. Yeah, let's see if we can... Uh, oh, actually, I probably shouldn't use you. Um, let's use... Uh, Zubat. I don't know if Zubat's going to be able to uh, do pretty well against you, but he does have Absorb. And I don't know if he has, like, Levitate or anything like that. This Cuba doesn't even seem to be attacking me. Oh, never mind. She decided that she was going to body my Zubat. Um, I would use Ditto, but Ditto is very low HP. So, not going to worry about that. Uh, let's just see if we can get enough damage to get this Cubone into the red. And then we will attempt a capture here. Let's see what happens. Okay, cool. Got red. Uh, let's try and use this last premier ball I have. I don't have many Pokeballs left. I think I'm going to have to start looking for some more Apricorns off camera. And trying to get as many seeds as I can. Oh, boy. Um, and just kind of attempting to see what I can find. I think also what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start marking down biomes with the journey map. Uh, for those wondering what the map mob was, it's journey map. Um, I think I'm going to start marking biomes down, so that way, if we have certain episodes where we're looking for a certain Pokemon, Ekans, I wouldn't, oh, <laughs> oh, Ekans, uh, if we're looking for a certain Pokemon, at least I have the biomes written down, so I'm going to do that, um, from here on out, but I think with that, I'm going to end here, and... Next episode, I guess we'll maybe explore the desert a little bit, see what's around here. And then I still want to try and see if I can find myself a Munchlax or a Snorlax. So that is definitely going to be another main objective for the next episode is hopefully I can get lucky and find one. But that is going to be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cobblemon. So if you did, make sure you like button below. Also subscribe and share the video if you feel the need to. It'll help me greatly with the YouTube algorithm if you like the video. So doing that much is good enough for me. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in another episode of Cobmon soon. Bye!